Sky Green and Emerald and uh, welcome to Tuesday's English lesson. We are sequencing uh, the legend of Theseus and the Minotaur today as well as writing some character descriptions and um, we've got a spelling starter and it's de dealing with uh, spellings or words that have silent uh, silent letters in them so they're, they're letters that you don't sound out and um, then what I would like you to do is create a pyramid um, for those spellings so this is an example of it here with fruit and the, the sound that's not um, that's the sorry the letter that's not sounded out here is the I letter and um, here and then you go down you use the first letter then you add the second one, then you add the third, then the fourth, and then the final. So you need to do that for all of those words. And Ireland will take you right down on here. We don't say is land. Um, I did that when I was little and I was reading on my own. And um, one of the words that I remember quite distinctly sounding out is land. And another one I did one was gnome. I used to call it gnome. Uh, it's another silent one. Okay, so this is the... Um, this is the call version and it's not exactly the same this case K letter is not sounded out and we've got no new and knock and this is like the knowing in your head no um, and new um, is not the, like the brand new type it's again it's I knew it was like that okay and this one is knock knock on the door okay so you can pause the video and keep going with those and um, that, then once you've done that Oh my goodness me, I seem to have got a very strange little thing there going on. Let me go back. I'm not quite sure what happened there. Um, you've got some uh, pictures here on your sheet. If you have um, printed that out, cut them up and put them in, um, in sequence. Yours have also got a little label underneath them with um, what's, uh, what the, the picture represents okay so leave those labels on because it'll be easier to sequence if you really want to give yourself a challenge cut them off um, and see if you can do that order those sequence of events in this the order of the legend and then you can stick those in your book but don't stick in until you're absolutely certain you know read the story through a couple of times and make sure it makes sense and make sure it works and it's a really good way of you getting that sequence of the story sorted out because you are going to be needing to plan this story this week okay and there's quite a few steps to it okay so here we go we've got uh, the minotaur who's showing in that little picture there do you remember what he's made of what he's made up of what mythical beast he is he's part man and he's part what's his other part He's part bull, and um, if you remember, he belongs to a king. Who can remember the name of that king? It's King Minos of, and which place has he come from? Come on, come on. It's Crete, okay? So you've got to try and remember those two, um, describe those two characters. Um, don't do a character that, like Dionysus because you haven't got enough of a, uh, a character really described in the story. He's not a, what I'd call a main character. Um, Ariadne would be a really good one to do. Um, and perhaps even the two kings, one of the two kings. But I would say the main characters in this are definitely Theseus and Meaty. You know, a really good character description to get on with it would be the Minotaur. I think that he'd definitely be my choice. Um, and then you're going to record your ideas in sentences today. We don't want um, notes. These are full sentences, capital letter, full stop at the end. So you're going to sequence those pictures. You should sequence the pictures for the legend and retell the main events in order. And at the end of this, you could add or improve three descriptive, descriptive word choices to make that description really come to life for your reader. And think about those magical powers and how they're represented. What's the, the object that they're represented by? So once you've come to getting all those um, pictures in order, um, that thing always makes me smile. Oh, it always makes me smile, doesn't it? It just looks a little bit mad. Mrs. Ludlow loves a little bit of mad. So um, get those, um, those, it's putting me right off it is. Um, 
put those uh, that get that sequence in and retell the story. See if you while you're doing it, you can really um, you know add some time conjunctions to it. Can you um, add a little bit more description and think about moving those sections on? You know between um, when they when Ariadne got left on the uh, island of Naxos. Um, you know what might you know what, when she woke up in the morning and sometime later they obviously arrive um go they're going back to athens back to the port um so have a little think about using those time conjunctions so while you've done that and hopefully you've had a chance to actually generate those time conjunctions if you've got any really nice meaty ones there um write them in your book and if you can think of some really good ones today what i'd like you to do is share it in class um, Miss B is going to do this with our um, with our children that are in, and also if you can message these on a message board. If you're home learning today, I'd really like us to try and share our work. What you know, what time conjunctions we thought of on that message board because that message board is really not being used for both classes very much at the moment. So this is an ideal opportunity to actually see if we can properly get some of our learning and share our ideas on there that is the challenge for message board um in the next day okay you're going to be checking those see if you can get some up because it is just i look at it and, and it just is like oh i had a couple today so oscar's really good in my class at, at, at sending little messages through and i think it was uh, i think freya did as well today um but miss b was saying as, as well that they've we've sort of gone a little bit quiet with that so generate those ideas for your learning that would be amazing that's you know, a really good use of that message board to share those conjunctions i'll give you some ready i've got um without warning ariadne slipped that magical ball of of yarn into uh theseus's hand um and there was another one that i thought of which was um just at that moment, Theseus overheard his father. His father so upset about the letter he'd received. So um, here we've got just at that moment. We've got meanwhile, without warning, immediately, while something's happening, eventually, sooner or later. There's loads, and and you know they're really what we'd call I'd call key um, phrases to start putting in your work in year three. Okay. Next coming up is the waggle. And um, this is one that Mrs. Ludd wrote uh, earlier on. Um, you're going to do a card sort as well for some ideas. So these are um, not in order. So you can sort out which ad adjective. You can cut these up and put them under uh, Minotaur and Theseus. So order them into the which one's which. Put them underneath. Uh, you can write them in or stick them in. And also you can add your own. Okay. Um, but here's my example of my waggle, which means what a good one looks like. It doesn't mean Mrs. Lalo is going to stand up and waggle around. Okay. So my example of a character description for Theseus. Strong and strong-willed, young Theseus was the heroic and loyal son of King Aegis of Athens. Although he grew up a prince in luxury and wealth, he jumped at the chance of finally ridding Athens of the terrible curse on their people. Theseus was athletic and a trained swordsman who was well muscled and fit. Although he was strong, this was matched by his clever, fast thinking when under pressure. He wanted to take back control from King Minos and valiantly went to battle the Minotaur. Okay, so um, that's a really nice little description. It's about I don't know how many, I don't actually know how many sentences it is. It's probably about six or seven sentences, which we would probably expect you to be able to do in year three. Okay, for a character description, we don't want reams of it. We want a nice, you know, good quality piece of writing. Okay, so if you can do one for Theseus, and you can use some of my ideas there as well. I've got some nice description there for you. I don't mind sharing. And then if you can really get, yeah, I don't want you to copy it though. Obviously, come on, that's not sharing. That's just you know, you know, that's just a bit quick, isn't it? A bit cheaty. So 
if you then do your uh, minor tour or if you want to do um, one of the other ones you might want to do evil king minos who you know has got this horrible creature and it links to do you remember what um which uh, other legend it links to do you remember the minotaur who created the labyrinth do you remember that oh i wonder if you can do you remember it's daedalus and he was the inventor wasn't he and he created the labyrinth for king minos so these are oh, there's an overlap here isn't there between the two um between the two legends so this light this is your last little bit this is a plenary so right at the very end i'd like you to have a little look at you can cut this off and stick this in and it's a list of uh names a list of characters in the uh uh in the legend and then what you can do is you can just jot down some details to a it gives you the the um the spellings of them which is quite useful so you might want to have a little write out of those spellings of gwen so that you just practice and then um you if you write down the details of what they are so theseus is um a young prince son of king e aegis okay of athens so king aegis is the father of theseus and then you might want to do ariadne she's the daughter of king minos and the minotaur he's the half bull half man dionysus or dionysus is the um the god uh who helps um make the sailors forget oh that's terrible that was wasn't it to forget to change the sails um so that's it from me for now and you can stick that in once you finished it in it's just a useful little reminder of those different characters in the legends okay is that here's the minotaur gonna come under guard that evil evil um labyrinth and um that's it from me uh, go well with that I think that there's lots to get your teeth into with this lovely legend it's usually a favorite among year three children so I hope you enjoy that today all right bye for now